Now let's take a look at the cowl and maybe the belt and uh, other wood pieces. And so for the cowl, I want to, like I said in the last clip, I want to be able to get a little bit more modeled detail in here. Uh, I don't want it all to come from the maps. And so looking at this one, it does have some subdivision levels on it. So if I go all the way to the bottom, you can see this is my lowest level. Now, obviously this level wasn't created with this detail in mind. As you can see, none of the geometry flows along with the detail that I've created. So it's actually kind of fighting against itself. And so one of the things that we can do is we can create a more optimized base level on something that has subdivisions. And in our case, we aren't even going to use the subdivisions, but if you're sculpting something still and your base is kind of not optimized, this is something that you can do to kind of optimize your base. You have fewer polygons, then you can maybe even take it up another level than you could before because you're not wasting polygons somewhere that doesn't need them. So to do this, uh, there are a couple ways we can do it. We could create a copy and project our detail into it, or we can just take our uh, model itself. We can freeze our subdivision levels here at level one and then go to Z remesure. And I'm just going to choose the same as the number of polygons. And let's go ahead and remesh our lowest level here with those subdivision levels frozen. So now you can see that the geometry flows a little bit better. So now when we turn off this freeze subdivision levels, it's going to recreate our subdivision levels and reproject our detail back through this new level. So I'll go ahead and click that off. You can see preparing projection. So now if we turn off our polyframe, we can see that we still have our nice detail there here at level five, but our lower level is now a little bit more optimized for that detail. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this lowest level to export. I'm not gonna export the medallion just because I know that we can get some good detail on the front of this, which is where most of the detail is, as long as we are able to capture that, uh, the silhouette there. This detail will come across pretty good in, the, in a flat uh, plane. Let's look at our belt. So on the belt, let's do something similar. We're gonna come down to, let's go to maybe level three. I'm gonna delete lower and then freeze the subdivision levels and then do a remesh. And then I'll do the same thing here. Leave this one, let's go level four. All right, now I want to do a, another quick UV master, quick UV layout on these. So take the cowl, UV master, unwrap. Let's take the belt and then the hip piece. All right, so everything that's visible is going to get exported. And so let's turn off any of the little bits that we don't need. Turn that little hook off, the buckle pieces, the padding. We only need one hip piece. So let's do the hip left. And then I do have a back piece on here, so I'll be exporting that as well. Let's take that geometry way down. I'll remesh it. All right. We do want to export this piece that we have here and you could remesh that as well if you wanted to. So you want to make sure that everything that you want to get out of here is visible and only those things. And then we'll go to Z plugin. Let's go to FBX export and we're going to turn off triangles, turn on visible and let's export and we'll call this base geometry from ZBrush and save it. And that'll give us some initial pieces to work with. So we should be done in ZBrush. Now we're gonna jump over to Maya, take a look at any geometry that we have there and begin putting our model together.